What should I do? Ah, ich weiß. Get Hallo und willkommen. Ich bin Meister Lenz and you're watching Get Germanized. 10 things only Germans do. First up, sweep the floor of a public place when they turn 30 unmarried. Scandalous. Cathedral stair sweeping or stair sweeping or just sweeping comes originally as a birthday tradition from Bremen. It originated there but has now spread over most of northern Germany. A so-called sweeper is a man that turns 30 but is unmarried and thus, of course, has to sweep a public place ridiculed by all of his friends and family. It is of course completely irrelevant if the sweeping person has a partner. The only thing that validly matters here is the marriage certificate or the official engagement. However, it should be noted that this must take place not later than one day before the sweeper's birthday. In Bremen, of course, the place that had to be swept or has to be swept until this day by one lonely soul that has not been kissed free is of course the stairs of the Bremen Cathedral. Other cities who do not possess a mighty cathedral can choose different stairs or different public places. And that brings me to one important factor about this tradition. If the sweeping person is not kissed free by a virgin, they might still be sweeping to this day. The virgin can be a kid, a unlucky older guy, <laughs> whoever you choose really, but it must be a virgin. There's also a female variant of this tradition where women have to clean the handles of the cathedral doors. This is known as Klinkenputzen. If we are in a leap year, the traditions swap, then women have to Fagen to sweep and men have to Klinkenputzen. Thing number two that only Germans do. Wait in front of a red traffic light when there's no one around. This uh, tradition does not need as much explanation as our first tradition, but it is still something Germans love to do. Because, I mean, you can say for different reasons. Because if kids are nearby, you want to be a good example. Germans love rules just a little bit too much that even if it's midnight and there's no cars around, we still wait. Some people might. Or we are just that crazy. Which one is it you think? Let me know in the comments below. Next up, the good old tradition of Germans clapping to every Schlager song once they're in a big crowd. Well, that means that every time a Schlager, a German modern folk song, I don't know how else to describe it, just Google Schlager comes on, then Germans go batch it. At least those who enjoy a good song by Helene Fischer, for example, or Wolfgang Petri and the like. That is also a very German thing to do. Uh, probably also in other cultures to other songs, but in Germany, when you hear a beat, you clap. Oh. The third tradition that only Germans do is to consume large amounts of bread and bread rolls for breakfast and dinner. So not only for Frühstück, but also for Abendessen. We just love our bread and bread rolls. We just have so many of them that it's understandable that we must consume them at some point. I think there's over a thousand different sorts of bread in Germany. When do you have time to eat those? Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's a person who made it their personal quest to try out every single variant of bread and bread rolls in Germany. Let me know if that is you. By the way, the German word Frühstück, for, so breakfast, goes back etymologically to the 15th century. And yes, etymologically is a very difficult word to say for me. Frühstück meant originally the piece of bread eaten in the morning. Case in point. The word Frühstück replaced the Middle High German term of Morgenbrot, so morning bread. See? Bread. The next thing only Germans do is to cut a man's tie on Weiberfastnacht to take away men's power. Mm. In the Rhineland area, the Weiberfastnacht is the Thursday before Ash Wednesday. The original idea of women's carnival or Weiberfastnacht was to give women power for one day. At that point in time when women were subordinate to men in most questions of power, it was considered to be a topsy-turvy world when women had power for one day. In many areas, this Weiberfastnacht, so women's carnival, developed from the tradition of Weiberzechen, where lords invited women to drink wine. Next up, a thing only Germans do is 
complicate bureaucracy so much that it turned into a living nightmare. An exaggeration of bureaucracy is called bureaucratism and I think Germany has definitely reached that at some point in its history. It's gotten better in some areas, worse in others, but generally speaking I can say that bureaucracy is still a big thing uh, in Germany. Ah, bureaucracy. A bureaucratically excessive action orientation that places rules and bureaucracy over people and treats them largely as objects. Isn't that the dream? Next up a thing only Germans do is to say that the internet is new territory, Neuland, and well have the slowest and most expensive internet in Europe. Hey! There's many different factors that played into why Germany has such a bad internet. Uh, in the rural areas especially, in the cities it's mostly okay and we even have optic fiber cables laid out. Now they're slowly creeping into the countryside. Actually my place where I live will probably by the end of next month hopefully get optic fiber internet. But before that the speeds were so slow it is frightening. Uploads of maybe 3 Mbit or something like that and downloads of maybe 10 Sometimes it's just bad. Next up a thing only Germans do is to have taxes so high you cry. Hey, that rhymed, but it's not good. For example, the income tax can vary from 14 to 45% depending on how much you earn. Married persons, for example, can use this splitting tariff though, where the income is added together. We even have a church tax that is about 8 to 9%. Actually, I made a video about church tax up here in the card if you want to have a look later. And also there's a link in the video description that will show you all the taxes that I mean. There's quite a few. Next up, something positive that only Germans do, eh? most likely only Germans, but there is relatively affordable tuition in Germany so that most people have a chance at uh, higher education. How great is that? I'm saying mostly free because while there is no Studiengebühr, so the study fee in general, there's still a semester fee that applies for many universities and private universities might be excluded from the rule of having no fees whatsoever for studying in general. So be careful there and also living costs and food, well that, that's living costs, but other stuff might apply to you too. So it is probably most likely not completely free while very cheap compared to other countries. And last but not least, Germans often have no clear cut rules for tipping. So people sometimes just round up the amount and tip 50 cents. Ah, the official rules of etiquette by Knigge say that, well, the tip should be around 5 to 10 percent, depending on how much the waiter pleased you and how much you like the food and all of that kind of stuff. Since in Germany, uh, waiting staff doesn't have to rely on the tips for the income. So people generally just tip whatever. But there is an unofficial kind of rule of etiquette, like I said, 5 to 10 percent, if you want to do that here in Germany. And it of course matters in which industry you work, if you get a tip or not, depends highly on what your job is. If you're a waiter, if you're a hairdresser or something else entirely. For example, I have never tipped my hairdresser. Uh, never came to me to do that. Maybe some people do. Do you? Let me know in the comments below. So which of these things are truly German and only done by those of German descent? Let me know in the comments below and which of, well, the important actions that people do throughout their lives and that are only done by Germans have I missed in this video? Let me know also and uh, leave a like, subscribe, check out my Instagram page for life in Germany, videos, reels and pictures and all the good stuff, updates about my daily life. And apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get Germanized. Goodbye and auf Wiedersehen.